Welcome back. The Old Guard Fife and Drum Corps has brought the sounds of the Continental Army to life for 50 years. Sergeant Dion Moses brings us the history of the Corps. He was just a young infantry soldier who volunteered to be in the band. I saw the picture. I'm back here. The last time 70-year-old Pete McDormand played a rudimentary style bass drum, he was 22 years old. <laughs> Slim, trim man. Look at That's you, buddy. Right, yeah. This retired chief warrant officer is known as one of the founding fathers of the Fife and Drum Corps. Yes, I was one of them. It was one of the first ten, really. Present of the creation, yes. <laughs> the way Pete tells it, it all began when a general officer wondered why the 3rd Infantry Division hadn't had a regimental band since World War II. So George got up there and said, well, sir, the best way to do it is fifes and drums. And General Gailey said, fifes and drums? No bugles? Well, basically, General Gailey said, well, you know, if you don't get bugles, you don't get the Corps. So there was the bugles. The Fife and Drum Corps of the Old Guard presents a day in the life of a colonial soldier. The bugles were there, but not technically the Corps. They could turn around and say, okay, that's it, folks. You know, it's been fun, you've had it, that's all. The Corps' provisional status didn't last too long. When they found out it was the Secretary of the Army's birthday, they decided to surprise him with a serenade. He walked up there, outside of his house, played happy birthday, the guy went ballistic. He loved it. He thought it was great. Next day, he was back in the Pentagon and says, they stay. So that saved us. <laughs> there we were. And then it just kept on going. Shows after that and after that and after that. And I left in 1962. That's the best job I'll ever have. I got here in 1976. Uh, let's see, what do you have? When Rick Lunsford joined the team, the Fife and Drum Corps was transitioning into an elite organization. I was surprised to find these people that could play so well, but they really couldn't read. So the Corps started recruiting a more professional force. Members were given an official MOS of O2 Sierra. That was the same MOS that the U.S. Army Band carries, West Point Band. What we saw as our role was to take what they had started and just to continue to, to grow it and grow it. How can we make it better? And people that are here now, I feel, have done exactly that. We look at what the people that are in the Corps now are doing and, and the process is still continuing. Uh, we're very proud of that. Sergeant Dion Moses, Fort Myer, Virginia. Have you ever caught them in a live performance? I really like the drum solo. I have never seen drumsticks fly that fast. Well, to me, it sounds like all of them are just marching to the beat of their own drum. Well, that does it for this edition of Army News Watch. Join us again next time for the stories that make America's Army.